All right, I'm going to demonstrate kind of an unusual core exercise, um, and this might be a little unexpected. Mostly when people talk about core exercises or core strength, they're talking about curls, sit up, this kind of, sit ups, this kind of thing, leg lifts. Um, but what I'm going to show you here is basically it's a strength movement, and the core, ex the core element of this is the resistance of keeping your body leaning too far to one side or another. And a lot of people um, definitely have some core stability problems where they're turning, they're twisting, they're standing, and going too far from one side to another starts to affect their low back or some, something around that area. And this is really to just kind of bolster your strength and your resilience uh, so that when you're actually moving from one side to another, you can actually keep things stable. And it's this variation of a, of a heavy carry, a farmer's carry. This is actually, uh, a lot of times it's called a suitcase carry, and this is gonna be obvious here. So what you do is you hold a large weight on one hand. It just has to be enough weight so you have trouble walking straight, so there's some effort keeping yourself upright. And so I'm gonna use this dumbbell I have right here, and this is about, eh, it's about 35 pounds with the bar. I'm just gonna keep this on one side, and this is enough where my hand wants to get drawn down and my shoulders want to get drawn down. So to do this, basically, just hold yourself upright, keep your other arm free, and if you want to be a little bit more challenged with this, bring that arm behind your back and keep your shoulders pulled back. Try to keep your shoulders even, keep your hips even as well. And then all you do, and I recommend having some sort of reference that you know you're walking in a straight line, is just walk with the weight. And basically just brace your core, just to know that you're keeping things upright, and keeping yourself stable. And you can take it as slow as you like. You don't have to walk fast here, but you wanna feel enough of a challenge so that it's a good amount of effort keeping your spine upright and walking a straight line. And this is the kind of thing that you can do for whatever level of time you wanna take this to. I would actually recommend setting a timer and just walking back and forth. If you have enough space, you can go down a block or if you're indoors, basically you're gonna do what I am where you're pacing back and forth and you want some sort of reference and do it for equal time on each side. So now it's my right hand, I got my left arm behind my back. I'm just gonna do the same thing. And all I'm doing is really just trying to keep my spine upright and keep walking on a straight line, forward and back. And it's pretty subtle, all right? It's a good amount of effort. You can certainly take this for very large amounts of time, but it's good enough to just take a couple minutes at a time and do this on a regular basis. Um, and if you have some trouble and you really wanna just work on this sort of thing, I do recommend doing this most days, um, but just feel it out. So you can challenge yourself further. You can just you can lift ridiculous amounts of weights and, and wait and try to do this. But it doesn't take a whole lot, especially if you don't feel like you're hugely strong. You don't want to load it up your hand too much. You want to be sure that whatever you're holding on to stays firm. And again, this is all about just walking and keeping yourself upright off of your spine and keeping your core engaged so you're not leaning over too far and losing control of your body as you hold a heavy load. And this helps for a lot of bracing as you do more dynamic motions when you're running, when you're walking, when you're picking things up, uh, when you're playing any sort of game, if you're doing uh, pickleball, if you're playing with kids, this kind of thing. This can help you be a bit more resilient for that sort of thing. And that's really the, the larger purpose of going into this kind of stuff. And you can always take this to further extremes. You can lift huge amounts of weight if you like, but I would recommend just playing around, find something that's just challenging enough that you feel you have to resist enough to stand upright. And that's your gauge for feeling how far you wanna go. And you can just break this into increments where maybe you do a minute on one side and then a minute on the other and then do another round. You can do it for a couple minutes. You'll be straining your grip. You're gonna feel this all through your arm and your shoulder. And again, you're gonna be working to keep your spine as upright as you can. Shoulders squared, hips squared. And when you're walking, it's that dynamic level reaction that keeps you balanced and keeps you basically vertical as you're moving. Um, so yes, yeah, so I hope this helps. Thank you very much.